What's up, my people? It's your boy, Mr. Y2K. I want to salute y'all, first of all. And now, let's get into it. Let's talk about this jail. Yeah, the county jail. The old jail. First of all, I want to let y'all know. Everything in there, iron. You surrounded by iron. The bed iron. The walls, they iron. They made out of bars. What well, ain't bars made out of concrete, bricks, bricks. Why you think you see all them people, they get these tattoos on them with bricks and bars. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The trays, the doors, everything iron. The only thing that ain't iron is the spoon they give you. And you better not lose it. Because when it's time to go, that's your get out of jail free pass. If you don't have that, the only way you can get out of jail without that spoon is if you going to, pr to prison. Now, they not going to stop you from going to prison if you don't got that spoon. You going to prison. But if you if you bond out or your time over and you don't have that spoon, you going, you staying in jail. Yeah, you finna come up with that spoon. They'll bring you way back upstairs. To get that spoon. Now let me tell you. The trays you eat on. Is iron. And what they do is. They have all y'all in a the, in the cell. So if, if it's enough room for two people. They got four people in there. You got people sleeping all on the floor. Yeah. Then what they do is. They put your metal. And ain't no, ain't no weight scales in there. Ain't no weight divisions. Everybody is just one division. Gladiator. They put the plate through the uh, and yeah, and I've been in there. Yeah, yeah, and I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. And guess what? You gon' hey. The name of the game is survival. Survival. And I spent over ten years in the county. Yeah, I've been in the county over a hundred times. Yeah, me. Yeah, so check this out. What I want to tell y'all, though, like, say, for instance, you go in there, they put your tray in there, okay? This to sleep late, lose weight. And sometimes the bully, he might grab him, too, right off the... She might get in the front line, just grab him, too. So if one person grab two and they only put one tray in there for each person, now you got some bullies... They go last every time. Them the kind of bullies I like, man. Cause they said what they saying is ain't nobody getting two trays. If anybody get two trays, it's me. So with that being said, man, I remember one time it was a big dude, man. And uh I kinda I slept late that day, you know. So I was the last one in line. And I seen a dude had two trays, man. And it was a lot of trays. People had already uh been been eaten. So they was done with their trays. So I said, man, what's up? Who got my tray? Yeah, who got my tray? And I meant that. And people knew I meant it. So what I did was I went over there to the trays where people been eating. I started stacking them trays. I started st I, I grabbed like two trays. I finna split somebody wig wide open. And the dude, and I went up, I say, you got my tray, dude? I see you got, so he, he can he gave me my tray. Yeah, but, but the bottom line of the story is the county. Sometimes you'll go in there. One time I went in there and man, I seen this dude. I heard about it, but it was a dude on the table dancing but I, I'm not with all that gay stuff like that man I'm, I'm not saying I'm not gay or nothing like that or I don't support gay people but if you a man you that means they 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 like you have no heart but you know on the other hand you gotta do what you gotta do to survive you know sometimes you don't have no win but a lot of people we believe in death before dishonor. You just got to kill me. Yeah, I'm not going to do no nothing unhonorable that I feel to my name. 
just kill me. I'm going to make, matter of fact, you disrespect me to a point, I'm going to make you kill You're going to have to kill me. Because I'm going to swing on you. I'm going to do something to you. I'm going to say something to you. But I will not, I will not let somebody disrespect me, man. I'm talking about that jail. Yeah, man, I was so institutionalized. When I got out of jail, sometimes I would call the living room the day room. See, the day room is when you come out your cell, that's where the TV is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one time I was so thrown off. I done been to jail so many times. I was thrown off. And uh, I was in population times. I shouldn't have even been in population. One time, you know, they had this thing. They say, man, somebody give you something. They gonna want that same uh stuff back, man. One time somebody gave me some uh something I forgot what it was. I normally don't accept nothing, man. I, I shit right there in the day room. I said if I owe you something, you better go get it. Come on, man. I, hey, man, I was out my mind. Yeah, man. I hey, it's a lot of stories I can't tell y'all because I know some people it hurt their soul and they'll want to come kill me, man. You know, I'm not trying to remind them of how I was. You know, I, I got a pass on some of the stuff I did. God gave me a pass. God bless me. He said, look, man, nobody shall harm this child, man, because he crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Man, hey, man. Well, anyway, with that being said, man, that's just one of the stories of the county. And then downstairs, oh, man, waiting on classification? Oh, man. You might be downstairs in a group, about 50 people, man, per tank. I'm talking about in a little bitty cell. Everybody elbow to elbow. No toilet paper. You know, and then we're going to talk about con con solitary confinement. We're going to talk about all that. With that being said, cut the camera. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Bars. Iron bars. Real talk. I love y'all, man. My car should be warmed up right now. This car warming stories. Feel me? I love y'all, man.